is your head! Xerxes sends his sheep to slaughter. Come, Persian! Ah! I will bring Xerxes your head, you insolent Spartan fool! Come and get it! Your bloodline ends today, Spartan! I'll get drunk on your blood as the crows feed on your eyes! You will fly, and you will fail! Xerxes is the king of kings! All will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! My son is more of a warrior than you! Once I'm done with you, king, all of Sparta's sons will be slain! Sparta's sons would rather die! <laughs> that can be arranged! Not so tough! for a Spartan! We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, we will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just died of Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since you were last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it.
Full speed ahead. I want to see everything this baby's got. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. Let me know if it's too intense for you. I can always change the settings later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Shit face! Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <laughs> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough. So act tough! Get a little closer now that we have. So you should know by now. The Cyclops always collects the dead. You have a lesson. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never met. Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Beep. 
Nah. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Where can I find Marcus's new... beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well... I guess I owe Marcus a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Guess this is the vineyard. Straight ahead. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos.
Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods! Phoebe found you, you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you! I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Thuris. You know Thuris. He's very nice. <laughs> Thuris. Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Where can I find Thuris? In a shop in Sami overlooking the docks. You know this, Alexios. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Uh, a, a fine choice, but this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F. Therapy. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. Off we go. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas.
Let me go! Shut it, or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. This tall grass will keep me hidden. Just let the rest of those malakas get away. Marcos is going to be... Time to get Phoebe out of here. Marcos, I'm here! Untie me! Are you alright? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since. Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? You'll have to be stronger than that! Don't get in! Let him have it! Got you! <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Bather. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight, we are having baby Cassandra! <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her! Take me instead, I'm tasty! Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Pater. Alexios. Pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? 
They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. <laughs>